Hey Gemini! I hope that you guys are doing well. Before we get into it, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay Gemini, let's get into it. I'm very happy to be here with you guys. I hope you all are doing well felt very guided to get into this is meditating on the energy i think we have some good news coming for us gemini i'm getting that we um we're in a transitionary space right now and i think that we're getting um getting out on the other side at this point in time I'm seeing us in a place where we are working very, very hard. We can be studying something. I'm seeing this very much as we may have been, um, we may have been putting ourselves in a place where we were limiting ourselves and I'm seeing us understanding this. I'm seeing this very much as an understanding I'm hearing of limiting beliefs, and I'm seeing us grow now. Gemini. Seeing us recognizing our gifts. And illumination. The sun is heading our way, and I'm seeing us really knowing our worth. Setting down boundaries. Calling out our knowledge, our abilities. Using our senses. I'm hearing to transcend. I'm seeing us being in a place where we're really beginning to advocate for ourselves, Gemini. There's big healing work that we're doing. I'm getting that we're being guided through this process, okay? We could be feeling very in touch with our guides right now. I'm getting with our higher selves as well. A test to see if we would move into this place where we're manifesting our dreams, our desires, an illumination of something we were being tested by seeing. I'm getting that this is about advocating for ourselves and about recognizing our worth, stepping into our power, Gemini. It's like ending the cycles of not feeling like we're effective and moving into a place where we know that we are. And I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing yin and yang right here. I'm looking at the queen of swords and the king of swords below mirroring each other. And I'm seeing that um, we're moving into a place where we're recognizing that it's time to, um, time to communicate, time to, again, stand up for ourselves. This was definitely a lesson to see if we would advocate for ourselves, make things happen. I'm getting taking action. And I'm looking at a message coming in. There's a collaboration heading our way. I'm getting that we're being guided to temper whatever this thing is. Maybe to learn how to work. This can be working with the different aspects of ourselves, with our higher self, incorporating that into our daily routine. I'm getting work with the third eye. Having the strength to pull through. I'm getting like Leo in the very center of this spread. So 
This can be about, um, about our aspect with the sun, about what we feel like we came here to do on our soul mission. I'm seeing us having the strength to be able to work, um, work in a dynamic. Again, this can always be with ourselves if it's not us with another. And I'm getting us really calling on our strength to temper this process and to call in our reciprocity. I'm here and call in what we deserve, Gemini. I'm seeing us doing work, being in a place where we feel good about, I'm hearing the establishment that we make and us working well together. I'm seeing us ending cycles where we feel like we're truncating ourselves and moving into a place where we feel like we become the magician. I'm hearing of our lives and learning how to manifest things into our 3D by recognizing them energetically and bringing them down for us. Gemini, I'm seeing there being an, an illumination of a big test that we have had i'm seeing us having the strength to call things out to communicate to advocate for ourselves and to call in our reciprocity and i'm looking at the knowledge of the high priestess and us gaining the clarity that we need to come into harmony into union and i'm looking at the hierophone at the bottom Stepping into our power, calling in our reciprocity, and coming into harmony. I'm here work, um, moving into the working space. Working into moving. Majorly stepping into our power. I'm here recognizing it as well. I'm seeing us releasing self-limiting beliefs and getting to a place where we feel like we're very effective with what we're doing. We feel like we're good at whatever job we're working on. And I'm getting that a big part of this was recognition through looking within. I'm seeing us stepping into a boss role, one that's in touch with our emotions. There could be some sort of harmony, some sort of union going on um, with the Pisces. This can always be that area of your chart. Pisces may be playing a role in whatever process this is for us. We may be calling somebody in. I'm looking at the Queen of Wands and below the Two of Cups. Maybe we're beginning to work with somebody. I'm seeing that in releasing the things that we're being guided to release that we're coming to an enlightenment and I'm seeing that there's um there's an offer that's coming in for us from somebody that's in a boss role and there's a union a harmony I'm hearing that's beginning to manifest Gemini I'm also hearing Capricorn We're manifesting this connection with this person. Now I'm looking at Virgo. I'm seeing that when we look within, we find the reciprocity we've been manifesting and also the harmony that comes with us. I'm getting that this also helps us transcend in confusion that we may have been feeling, maybe feeling stuck, and now getting to a place where we are on the pursuit of happiness. By releasing what needs to be released. I'm hearing and holding on to our resources. I'm hearing our resource skills as well. I'm getting that we're preparing to take an offer that is really going to drive us in the direction that we're looking to go i'm hearing move us through
and I'm seeing that there's an offer coming in from somebody in a boss role, Gemini, and I'm seeing that this is divinely guided. There may be a contract. There may be something that um, we're getting into that's going to bond us with somebody. I'm hearing energetically. And I'm looking at the lovers falling over the two of cups and the hierophant and the ace of cups. I'm seeing that um, there's somebody that's coming towards us that we have a psychic connection with. Somebody that's in, um, I'm hearing their boss energy. This is something that we manifested. And I'm looking at the lovers and at the ace of cups. I'm hearing that we're moving into now. I'm looking at Taurus. I'm looking at Gemini. I'm looking at Virgo. I'm looking at Neptune. I'm looking at the moon, the sun. I'm looking at Aquarius. I'm looking at Leo and I'm looking at Sag. I'm hearing brown eyes. I'm also hearing almond. Something about a river or movement, water, some sort of flow. I'm seeing us getting to a place where we're linking up with somebody and linking up with a partner I'm getting, okay? I'm getting that this was something that we worked for. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups like we've slowly built to the Ten of Cups over time. And that now we're getting, um, see, I'm looking at the Ten of Cups, right? And I'm seeing that the gold at the bottom of the rainbow is the lovers. It's like you had to undergo all of the storms that life was throwing at you and now you get to come into a place where you get to um, find harmony with another Gemini. I'm hearing the establishment of... This is somebody that's going to be with you through thick and thin. I'm hearing somebody down for you. We may have been really stressed trying to get to this place, but I'm seeing that at the end of the day, we are going to manifest this thing that we've been working for. I'm hearing working towards. It is all divinely guided hearing part of the soul contract it's like you had to finish all of these tasks and complete them and now the dynamic the lovers that you've been looking for to come through are coming through for us gemini i'm seeing a celebration you may have shared guides with somebody gemini i'm getting something about them communicating yeah, I'm seeing a big transformation on both sides of whatever relationship this is. And I'm getting that there's a union. I'm getting united through gifts, okay? Maybe somebody has similar abilities to you. And I'm getting that the guides are now communicating with each other. A soul contract. I'm hearing meant to be. And I'm seeing that... 
this is the payoff for all of the work that you've been doing as well. Because under the Ten of Wands is justice. Things being balanced out. It's like finally your hard work is paying off. I'm getting like it took a lot of endurance and patience to get to this point, Gemini. A lot of shedding. I'm looking at Gemini and I'm looking at Scorpio and Taurus. And now I'm seeing that this contract is being called out. I'm hearing put into play. Our intuition may be telling us, I'm getting um, intuitive nudges about something. And I'm getting that it took a lot of us getting to a place where we were addressing things and also healing in order for us to step into this position with another. This could have been with past partners. This could have been with stuff from childhood as well. Yeah, other people that we were working with that things did not go as we thought they might. And I'm seeing us getting into a really big healing space and us now stepping into a dynamic with another. We may be working with this person as well. You may have like a shared soul mission with this person. And I'm getting that it's going to give assistance to both parties, both to you and this person. It's like when you bring your gifts together with this person, it's really going to lead you into a place that you may not have gotten to if you were working independently of one another so this union was meant to be whatever this thing is this coming together that's happening and it's because you also completed these lessons that you were meant to learn i'm getting like all of these assignments that you had to get through and us feeling very overwhelmed throughout the process but us nevertheless being able to triumph and now Things are being balanced out and I'm getting that the reward is now coming. And it's because you were able to complete all of the things. I'm hearing set in your path. And it was only to help you build the foundation that you needed to build, Gemini. Yeah, and falling over justice, your reciprocity. It's like Spirit is saying this thing is finally ready to come down for you. I'm hearing manifest in your physical environment, Gemini. I'm looking at us at the top, Gemini, the lovers, ending with reciprocity. After all of these things that we had to complete, getting in touch with our gifts, also transforming regarding our abilities as well. And now we see the balancing out because we entered into the heart space. We healed what needed to be healed, unblocked the chakras. And I'm seeing us getting into a dynamic now. I'm hearing for the win. Yeah. Whatever this thing is, it's meant to be. It's part of a soul contract, Gemini. I'm getting that there may have been um, disappointment as well that we were guided through. I'm getting that this was also part of the process, okay? I'm getting that this is being brought to the space to recognize there was big disappointment that we felt maybe because of um, a conflict that we experienced. This was also part of the soul contract. And I'm seeing that there were offers that came through that we were guided not to take because they just would have been chaotic because it was coming um, from someone in that energy. And we may have been disappointed that that's how they stepped to us. But I'm getting that we, rather than focusing on that and I'm hearing like spending energy doing that we're now manifesting something differently something that we're going to feel very good about I'm hearing put us at ease because I'm seeing that we manifested an ending to whatever chaos this was that was coming in before maybe from somebody that we felt very drawn to, but I'm getting that we knew that um, it was out of alignment and that's why we were guided to end whatever situation that was. And I'm getting us only taking offers now that resonate. I'm hearing with our higher self, Gemini. I'm seeing that this was part of a lesson as well to not be taking offers that are chaotic. 
And maybe we felt disappointed because the only offers that were coming in for us were chaotic. I'm hearing out of alignment. And I'm getting that now we manifest our reciprocity with someone that we feel drawn to, attracted to, somebody fiery. I'm hearing heart of fire. Maybe somebody with their Venus in a fire sign or moon. Now I'm seeing that because we got out of whatever chaos this was and did not take offers and ended whatever dynamics we were in, I'm getting that this is more than one, that were not bringing us anywhere close to where we wanted to be. I'm seeing that now the Wheel of Fortune turns in our favor. I'm hearing in favor of our fortune and I'm seeing there being a celebration because we're listening to our guides and our intuition. I'm hearing rather than being fooled by the 3D. It's like understanding things and feeling them out on an energetic level rather than on a superficial level. This may have been what was hidden from us getting to this point. We may not have known that we were going to be coming into union with somebody, but I'm seeing that this was something we manifested, although we may not have been getting signs that this was manifesting for us. I'm getting that this was also part of the process as well. And now with uncovering the truth, we're getting assistance. Because I'm seeing that this was part of the test. For this to be hidden, what we were manifesting, it's like you had to turn down the offers because you knew that they were out of alignment, even though you did not know that you would necessarily be linking up with somebody that could potentially be a counterpart. And I'm seeing that because you remained in alignment and still did not take these offers, that now somebody is being guided in. I'm hearing being guided together. I'm getting that we really had to stand our ground on this. I'm hearing on our beliefs. I'm hearing belief system as well. And I'm seeing that now we're manifesting. I'm looking at somebody coming in for us. Somebody that's going to bring us clarity. Somebody that's in a very grounded position. I'm getting something about allowing the universe to bring us in the gifts that we're looking for. Looking to receive. Yeah, what's hidden is that there's an offer coming in. An opportunity. The knowledge of the high priestess. This can also be coming in from somebody that, again, you're psychically connected with. Maybe somebody that has psychic abilities. I'm getting a really strong connection. And I'm seeing that they may be assisting us as well with getting out outside of a negative mind frame. I'm seeing us too really looking within and finding our light as well. I'm here believing in ourselves, Gemini. Yeah, somebody's coming in for us. Somebody that we feel very attracted to. Somebody passionate. I'm hearing the word sensual. This is something that we were co-creating with our guides. Also, us being in a place where we were grounded as well. This may have been a long time coming for us. I'm getting a lot of work that's been put on, put in on the journey to be in this place. I'm hearing this position. Yeah. I'm seeing that what's hidden is this offer that's coming in in your physical environment. I'm hearing in the 3D. There may be more than one offer that's going to be coming in for us. And I'm seeing that we're also being guided to not take offers that are going to put us in a spot where we feel ostracized from those around us by getting in this mind frame. It's like... 
you're not taking offers from people from the past. You're going to be taking offers from somebody new because I'm getting that there were past people out of alignment and that regardless of whether an offer is coming in from them, we're not going to be taking anything. Not if it was out of alignment, I'm getting okay. And you'll know if it is. It's like if you walk away feeling happier from a situation in a wholesome way, then you know that it's something that's elevating you. However, if you're left feeling confused, feeling bothered, feeling anxiety, then you know it's not in alignment interacting with this person. And I'm seeing that what we manifest is clarity. Somebody that we have a pure connection with. I'm getting like big, big attraction to this person and I'm getting that you guys are going to like elicit passion. I'm hearing within each other. And I'm getting that we may be in a place where we're really dancing between two options as well. But I'm seeing that we're picking which way that we want to go. I'm getting through the guidance because I'm getting that this is what we end up deciding on. A union, a harmony. With somebody that we have synergy with, okay, Gemini? I'm getting like a really strong emotional connection, physical connection with this person. It's like, I'm getting like something instant. As soon as you see this person, you're going to know who they are and what this is about. I'm seeing that we are being guided at this point on our journey to communicate okay we also may have communication that's coming in for us but i'm getting like addressing things head on somebody's going to be coming in and communicate this can be somebody at a distance from us coming in and communicating i'm hearing what they're looking for what they're looking for I'm getting that as well. Our intuition is guiding us through this process. Also on making sure that we're setting boundaries when we need to, defending the things that we believe in. I'm hearing simultaneously. I'm hearing the vision. Making sure that we stay connected with our guides. I'm hearing ultimately to reach this destination, Gemini. Yeah. Your guides are bringing you in messages. I'm hearing to help you along the way on your journey. There's a big, big surprise coming in for us, Gemini. I'm hearing something about the higher self. Yeah. The knowledge that we find when we look within, when we reflect, it's like there's a really big enlightenment that is coming for us as we defend our beliefs, stick to the goal of the dream, it's like we reach then enlightenment and I'm getting us getting connected with somebody because we are really standing firm in the things that we believe in, holding tight to the dream, envisioning what we want to manifest. I'm getting that there's an enlightenment that we reach and we're also connecting with somebody energetically. I'm hearing psychically, okay? And this was the kind of connection that we wanted as well. There's communication coming in from this person.
and there's going to be I'm hearing a big I'm hearing a quantum leap so maybe the difference between being on your own and then this person comes in and there's going to be a very very big change for us Gemini yeah you manifested this landed right underneath the magician manifesting the two of cups with somebody that's in this role because you have decided to step into your boss energy this can be you pursuing things at work i'm getting like ceo of whatever you're doing and i mean that can be a metaphor for something but really you feeling empowered at whatever job that you're working at and i'm getting that this thing was only able this thing was only able to come through for us once we stepped into our power, into our north node, when we recognized the direction that we wanted to go in. So it's like you you secured, accomplished, stepping into your north node. I'm hearing truly. I'm hearing true heart. And I'm getting that now after we completed all of the things that we needed to complete, got things lined up, we now made way for this relationship to... Um, to begin i'm hearing to progress okay so i'm getting that somebody's coming in for us gemini it's somebody that we have a psychic connection with it's somebody that um we're going to be very attracted to somebody that we have major synergy with i'm getting and um i'm getting that now we're we're starting to uncover i'm hearing the process i'm hearing the processes of our manifestations so Okay, Gemini, we're going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for being here. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, Gem.